What's going on, y'all? It's Rob with Cinema Bullies. Uh, I'm going to talk about something that I was leaving off with on my last video. Um, you know, it's a big controversial issue in this bully game, especially the ABKC, because that is the main registry that I follow and I deal with. But you have, you know, multiple judges showing dogs that are their own productions, not even somebody else's, most of the time. And they are showing under judges that they have done business with or are close acquaintances with or have a, you know, some type of secret agenda that they are trying to accomplish. And, you know, you see these dogs winning that these judges are showing and they got rears that are three inches higher than their front shoulder. Um, they can't breathe. They got easty westy, long backs. Um, and they're winning against dogs that are more confirmational and more towards the concept of the breed and the, the actual standard. Your dog being more bully does not make it closer to the standard that to a dog that has everything else. So the justification of a dog winning because it's more bully has to stop because people like me are getting to the point now where why even waste my time showing a dog when I'm losing against dogs that shouldn't be winning so in my opinion the judge that's judging the dogs needs to go back to judging school or, you know, needs to actually, like, update, you know, their training. Or their opinion doesn't really matter to me if I know my dog was the better dog that day. So, in my opinion, I'm just wasting my money and my time. Because then you got these dogs that champ and grand champ that, you know, certain judges own or certain big name people in the game own. And they champ or they grand champ and then you never see them dogs again. It's not like these dogs are, you know, like Grand Champion, you know, Blue or Zero or Aaron or, you know, big name Grand Champions that show, you know, 20, 30 shows a year. Um, that kind of excludes Grand Champion Aaron because he goes all the way, in, I believe, in Italy. But, you know, dogs, you know, back when I first started um like Bear Bear went to I don't know how many freaking wins he had but I mean that dog would hit 30-40 shows a year so I mean that's different cause then you got a dog that is still winning as a grand champion at all the shows so then that dog I mean that dog is legit that dog should be a grand champion. That dog should be a champion, whatever the case is. But the dog that champs out and you never see again, you know, makes you question why why is that dog a champion? Why did that person not pursue it? Yeah, there could be issues when it comes to, you know, stress on the dog, um, anxiety from the ring or traveling. Um, some dogs don't do well in the car. But at the same time, you know, that's kind of a fault. Um, high anxiety, high stress, you know, that causes problems with the heart, you know, respiratory issues. And, you know, eventually it could lead to death. I mean, I've had a dog die because of being in a car. And it was my first dog I owned that I, I, I bought for a good amount of money. And he died in my arms on the side of the Lang City Expressway. 
because I was being selfish and for some reason he stopped liking car rides and I tried to take him to a show and didn't work out and I had to live with that but like I said back to the main topic there are multiple videos coming out now of people starting to call out judges and big name people uh, in this dog game but they're not really putting on blast because they're afraid of the repercussion of them calling these people out. But I got news for you. People that don't show dogs, that don't give a shit about the show ring, they're the ones that are going to start calling everybody out because they don't care about your opinion. They don't care about the dog shows. They don't care about the titles. If they're producing better dogs than the dogs that are in the ring, in which there are a couple guys like that, that make big money selling dogs and they don't even step foot in the ring. You know, then you got certain guys starting their own registries, which, you know, good for them. And everyone knows who that is. And I got nothing against him. I mean, that guy, you know, he set the bully game off in a whole other direction. Do I, do I agree with his breedings? No. Do I think he has some very nice stuff? Yeah. That's my opinion. I can say whatever I want. But, like I said, I've said it before in another video, if you are a judge, you shouldn't be in the show ring with your own dogs. I can understand if you got to step in for a handler or whatever the case is, that's cool. Um, but at the same time, if you ever realize that people, when they usually step in for somebody to handle somebody else's stuff, that dog usually don't win. They'll get a second place, you know, a reserve, third, you know, whatever the case is. But if it's their own dog and it looks just like the dog they, you know, stepped in for and they win, then it's like, okay. And then after the show, you see the judges all chopping it up, talking, laughing, having a good time. And then it makes you think, why I just spent 500 to to $1,000 to come to this dog show at my time. You know, time's precious and... In time you never get back so I really hope over these next couple years that they start reevaluating how they allow certain things in the ABKC I mean I really do because I enjoy competition I enjoy showing it's fun you know my family likes doing it but if it's not a fair playing field then why even do it um but it's up to the big big dogs in the game. They got to really come together and think and start just thinking more about the integrity of the ABKC and the reputation rather than just filling pockets. And that's just my opinion. And uh, I know a lot of people agree with me even if they don't want to say it. So I hope this helps you guys out and opening your eyes a little bit and understanding where I'm coming from. Even myself, I'm stepping away from dog shows for a little bit. I champed out three dogs in a year, so I'm cool with that. And that was with me showing dogs for two years with my kennel name in front of it. So I'm cool with that. Do I wish I could take it further? Yeah. Do I want to waste my time with my family and my time in general? No. So, starting to reevaluate my situation. I will be still going to some, some shows, but am I going to be chasing them? Nah. Absolutely not. But, if anybody needs any advice or wants to talk about dogs, you know, I'm always available for that. Contact me on, you know, any platform IG, Facebook, TikTok, whatever. Like, comment share subscribe you know i'd like to hear you guys input on this one so drop some comments below and uh let's get the ball rolling all right take care guys later